I coded two functions that look very close to each other. So here I have a function to sort JSON configs and here I have a function to sort JAML files. And the idea is that both functions behave the same. So they both get uh, an input of type string and then they return either a sorting success or a sorting error. The same applies here to the JAML file. So it gets a text of type string and then returns a success or an error type. Now I wanted to guarantee that both functions really behave the same and have the same API so I can use them in the same way. So I wanted to prevent that, for example, one of the functions then turns into a different signature and then, for example, returns a string. Yeah, I can just change this function here, have it returning a string, and then the API here would look different than the API of this function. And I wanted to prevent that and I wanted that they are united and that they get a TypeScript error in case this happens. This scenario is actually great for defining a function type. So in our next step, we'll create a function type to solve this use case. Now we will look into how to create a function type. Let me just quickly revert the sortJSON function so that it looks uh, like the JAML file. And then we will create a type that can be shared between sortJSON and the function of sortJAML. To do that, I create here a new file and I will just call it sortFunction.ts and I will export then here um, a new type, export type sort function. And then I have to specify the type. I can hover over this function here and then I see what it is um, returning and also what it gets as input. So I can then just copy it here, call it, for example, input string returns sort success or sort error. Of course, I need to import these two types as well. I just need the types here, not their values. That's why I use the import type syntax and not just simple import. So I have now this function type here and this function type can be used now in both of my functions. So let me go back to the sort JSON here. I can turn it into a function expression. So I do export const sort JSON equals and then I can remove the um, return values here because we will have the return values as part of our new function type, which means I can then also remove the import from here. And I of course have to declare and annotate here the type to that um, function. So that function expression here will get the new type sort function that I of course then also have to import. The same thing can be done for my other function. So in sort uh, YAML, I can do export const. I give sort YAML also then the type. So I annotate the type. I make an equals here and then um, I can remove the return type because the return type will be defined from that sort function type. So if I hover over sort YAML, I see that it uh, is a sort function and the same with sort JSON. I see that this now is a sort function as well. This gives me now the benefit that whenever I change the function signature, for example, I say, okay, the input is not a string anymore, but a number, then the code will break and TypeScript will tell me that I'm not following the sort function type, which I wanted to guarantee in order to have always a stable and consistent API through my sorting functions.